Tip from Two Tips. Today's episode is all about getting curly and voluminous hair, so I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my five hair curling tips every girl needs to know using the Insta Curl Easy Styler by Hot Tools. So if you guys wanna see how I created these voluminous curls like this, keep watching. All right, let's get started. Before I do anything, I always like to give my hair a nice comb through to avoid any tangles when curling. Then let's get prepped. My first tip is to always use heat protectant before doing any heat styling. I just use one pump and warm it up in my hands and then run it through my hair. Now that we're ready, I'm going to section off my hair and I like to start on the bottom half first and then work on the top. Using my nifty scrunchie, I'm going to just tie my top half in a bun. Now it's time to curl. I'm using the Hot Tools Insta Curl Easy Styler to create some voluminous curls. Now the great thing about the styler is that it does all the work for you. There is a unique split barrel feature in the middle of the curling iron that provides heat from the inner and outer barrel surface. So what I like to do is slide my hair in between the barrels and just roll to curl. It's super easy to use and what's better is that there's no clamp. Tip. I usually leave the curl on the barrel for no more than 5 seconds and by doing this it prevents any breakage from the heat and this easy styler creates curls instantly so you don't even need to put it on for that long. Now I'm just going to do the same thing throughout the rest of my hair. I love how the curls are so bouncy and voluminous and I almost always have my hair curled on most days. I especially like to curl my hair because of the ombre in my hair. I just find that it really brings out the colors and if you have ombre hair you probably know what I mean. Now here's a great tip. Run your fingers through your hair instead of using a brush. This keeps the curls in place and gives it that natural tousled look. Give it a bit of spray and let's start on the other side. Now that the other side is done, I'm going to do the same thing and run my fingers through it and give it a bit of spray. the bottom part separate from the top part, I like to loosely tie it in the back so I don't end up curling it again. Time to take the top part down and let's start curling. When it comes to the bangs, I like to leave it on the iron for about 2 seconds flat, just because I like the bangs not to be super curled. The more natural the front looks, the better the rest of the hair will look, in my opinion. I just love how this curling iron is so fast at curling and it doesn't fry your hair. There's a nice even heat throughout the barrel and its smooth surface keeps my hair frizz free. Now that I have this side done, I'm going to start on the other side. And when everything is done, one last spray all over. I'm going to let loose the bottom section and let it all down and come together really nicely. Last but not least, one of my favorite tips is to get more volume in the curls by lightly teasing the curls with my fingers. This gives the curls that instant fluffiness and now we're done! Alright guys, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and got some tips here for your next hair curling routine. Now I'm a huge fan of Hot Tools and I love using their curling iron, so if you guys want more information on the Insta Curl Easy Styler that I used in this video, be sure to click on the description box below. Thanks so much for watching you guys and I'll see you on the next episode on MC's Tipsies.